Good afternoon and welcome to this week's issue of Play Print 21, the weekly news bulletin from print21.com.au. My name is Wayne Robinson, editor of the magazine. Today we're on the steps of the Opera House, uh, steps of the, de of the deserted Opera House. As you can see behind me, this area is normally thronged with people, there's no one here, and it's all because of the coronavirus, the only story in town, and a big story that's impacting on the printing industry, of course. Uh, in several ways. Firstly, virtually every print exhibition, conference and expo for the next six months is off. Uh, the FESPA was called off last week. Visual impact on the Gold Coast due to take place end of the end of April uh, has been called off date for date to be arranged. Pride in Print New Zealand, the awards scheduled for May 8th, called off. Uh, and of course the big one, Drooper itself, uh, the mother of all trade shows, 250,000 people due to go in the uh, middle of June. Uh, that's been called off. It will be rescheduled. It will be rescheduled for April 20 to April 30 next year. Uh, Organisers said the health and safety of the visitors, guests and staff was of paramount importance. Uh, they called it off before the German government uh, effectively closed the borders and called off all meetings of more than 100 people. The rescheduling of Drupa will uh, impact on all other shows. Uh, visual, imp um, not a visual impact, pack print, uh, the once every four years big Australian show. Uh, that's due to take place in May next year. Uh, that will be interesting to see how that works out. Um, second thing with the virus uh, impacting print is that, uh, of course, with no tourists here, for instance, that means no signage, no brochures, no maps, uh, no leaflets, no shop displays. Um, crew, the cruise boat opposite, they are not allowed to disembark people or embark people. Normally 5,000 people a day will be coming off that boat. Uh, and that's been reflected all around the country. Airlines, international airlines, Qantas cut them by 90% arrivals, Virgin by 100%. Uh, that's going to have a big, big impact on print, of course. Uh, if you're in the toilet paper packaging uh, printing business or the hand sanitizer label business, you're working night and day. But everyone else, it's going to be tricky. Uh, to counter that, the government has brought in a, ra a raft of measures. Uh, first of the, among those is a 50% uh, deduction uh, depreciation on the depreciation schedule for all items over $150,000. That means that if you uh, buy a $2 million press, you can put $1 million of it as an expense on this year's books. Uh, for sub $150,000, uh, the whole lot can be written off straight away, providing uh, that order and that installation is completed by June 30. So that means, for instance, if you've got $150,000 profit this year, uh, you spend $150,000 on kit, you're going to basically save $42,000 in tax. So that's a great incentive. Other incentives include uh, $25,000 to $25,000 back on tax paid, uh, you know, pay, pay, pay a YG tax, and also uh, apprentices' wages, the government will pay half. Um, also uh, in uh, the news this week, the uh, other stories include Heidelberg, the world's biggest press manufacturer. Um, it has just announced a realignment package, which it says will be painful and hard. It's dropping its Prime Fire 106, the world's first B1 press. Uh, it's dropping VLF, very large format presses. Richard Timpson, I spoke to him yesterday, he said it won't really affect Australia because there are no Prime Fires or VLFs, and the company is already aligned to market in terms of staffing. Uh, a couple of other quick bits of news. Uh, the guys from Waratah, Brett, Charm, Brett Chalmers and Steve Kernan have resigned from Finsbury Green and Scope Group is uh, in administration, it's had a winding up order, it is uh, also uh, going through various other things, Director Sir Alan Charles Warren there, uh, very busy people. Uh, that's it for this week's issue of Playprint 21, go to the magazine, go to the website print21.com.au for all the news, we'll keep you completely up to date with everything that's happening, stay safe, stay 1.5 metres away from each other, see you next week.